Welcome back, Monster Man Toad here, and today I wanted to ask one simple question. It's the question in the title of this video. What happens if you open a world that was created in 17W48A in 17W46A? Because in the latest snapshots, all the block IDs were changed, and I want to know what happens if I try to backport. Let's find out. I do have a backup of this world, by the way. That would not be good if I did not. Here we go. I have no idea what's about to happen. Whoa. Well, there's just holes in it. It goes from plain... Okay, so it... No, part of it's plains, part of it's desert. Okay, so first of all, certain chunks have clearly corrupted. That's fine. There's a random hole there. Must be from something I did earlier. Yeah. Now oh, we got slimes. Definitely got slimes, of course. What it looks like to me is it merged with the Supervot world, but I can't figure out why my optical illusion inducer didn't get wiped. While every chunk with a block I updated in it did. And I'm seeing something there on the edge. I don't know about you, but I'm going to hop into creative mode or spectator mode and just fly over here. Oh! So it's basically changed the entire world generation to a super flat. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Uh, of course, we're going to check the village blacksmith just for the sake of everybody. Okay, this chest, two diamonds, an iron helmet, and a piece of bread, and in the other chest, three pieces of obsidian, uh, a couple iron ingots, uh, iron boots, iron helmet, and an apple, uh, four iron ingots. Okay, the village is floating. The whole village is floating, and I am on block layer one. I thought this was like a regular super- No, it's generated grass by default. Which is actually really interesting, because grass isn't even block ID 1. Okay, there is something weird going on. I'm going to create a new world in the new snapshot, and then try to load it back here, and see what happens. So I'm just here, we're going to create a new world, we're going to call it Ahead to the Past, definitely not a play on a certain uh, film, with multiple sequels. And we're just going to create the world. We are in the Snapshot 17W48A, as I will show in a moment. Ooh. I have not actually tried to generate a new world in this Snapshot. Apparently, we have to prepare spawn areas now. Actually, I know it's always done that in the past, but it's never displayed it, and I think that's a really neat thing that it's doing. Okay, so world gen actually looks pretty normal. I just want to fly around, load in some chunks. Chunk loading seems slower, but that could just be because I'm without Optifine. I've got all my graphic settings turned up, which is probably... Yeah, it's murdering OBS. But yes, anyway, we are on Snapshot 17W48A, so now I'm going to go backport it, and we're going to see what happens. Just one other thing I want to mention while I load up this world. Uh, updating your old world to the new format seems to work fine. Here we go, world is loading in! First thing to note, blocks do seem to backport okay. Even if that mushroom didn't. So now we're going to go fly out to the edge of where loaded chunks should be and see if anything's changed. I finished recording an entire other clip and realized I hadn't updated any blocks, which seemed to be the uh, catalyst for destruction, if you will, on the previous world. So I'm going to update some blocks here. We're just going to gonna place some bark. Oh, by the way, what happens to bark? Because bark is a thing that was added before 17w46. Uh, so we're going to build this little thing of bark. So now I've got some bark blocks, and I'll fly over here. We'll just place down some dark oak logs. And we'll just see if there's any form of consistency here with what actually breaks. So, I am in the new snapshot. As you can see by looking right here. Now gonna go to the old one. Okay, world is attempting to load in, let's see what happens. Okay, the chunks have actually been reset. It's like they were wiped and then they just regenerated. 
so don't backport your world. Anywhere you've placed blocks will be wiped and regenerated. That's apparently what we can con conclude from this. And that's probably what happened in the super flat world. It just defaulted to a random block. Why would I pick grass? I don't know why I picked grass. Because it's the surface block for planes. That's why I picked grass. Duh. So, I don't know why I defaulted to planes. And we have just crashed. So the reason for that crash there is actually loading in new chunks outside of it. Crash the game. Now, I'm not sure if that'll cause any corruption. In fact, we're testing things. Let's go find out. Yeah, it crashed again. We've actually corrupted the world. I have never corrupted a world in vanilla before. So there you go. That's what happens if you try to backport your world. You're just going to corrupt it. So what Mojang tells you about backporting your worlds is actually true. Make a backup because you're just going to break things. So with that, I'm going to conclude this video with a perfectly black screen. Thank you for watching. Do leave a like if you enjoyed and or learned something. Do even consider subscribing if you're not already. That's going to do it for now, and I'll see you in the next one.